fantastic. Take them be. No, you've been starving. You didn't get to eat anything to eat. Gross! Freaking idiot! Ooh. We're back with another spooky, spooky, spooky Halloween. installment of the Lunchbox Bunch because we're getting closer to Halloween. Yes, yes. It How is like the Christmas, crisp, crisp, not Christmas, the Christmas, crisp, that's a hard Crispness. Word. Crisp, Crispness. Crispiness is in the air. Crispiness. Crisp. And because fall is yeah. coming. And we're getting close to Halloween. Mm hmm And I have my plastic schmock and plastic mask with the character on the schmock ready for Halloween. Did you know a couple years ago there's a documentary? Someone made a documentary on those Halloween costumes, the the ones that came in the box like with the, the plastic Cooper schmock. Yeah. And there's a documentary. You can find it. You got to rent it. It's not for free. Uh, you got to pay money to rent it. But there's a documentary called Halloween in a Box, all about those costumes. And I was excited to watch it. I thought, oh, this is going to be a good documentary. Yeah. Boring as hell. Oh, that's a shame. Boring. It was just like pictures like of oh. those costumes. Like I'm fascinated with it because I find that those Halloween right. in the box costumes is very similar to the lunchbox. Right. In nostalgia and the era when it was existed. While I was at Dragon Con, I picked one of those, those costumes in the box up for our friend Chris Stoltz Muppet Stuff. Uh, the the puppetry center, the Atlanta puppetry center, had vintage Muppet merchandise for sale, and one of them was one of those Halloween costumes of Ludo from Labyrinth. They would make and, some weird ones because you sent me the one, and it was from Follow That Bird of one of the Dodos. Yeah, that Big Bird. Like they made a costume for that. I mean, yeah. that's 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 some odd stuff, but they made a costume for it. And then, then what kids like? I want to be. The dodo, the it was the little girl dodo, right? Yeah, the little dodo. girl dodo, Marie dodo. They were they, they were the kid girls. They were Donnie and Marie were the names of the oh, dodos. Okay. Yeah, like uh, that's why I want to be for Halloween. Wear this plastic smock, and with with the picture of the characters. Yeah, they were great. They had, I, they had. I bought one of those in the box. Yeah, at a Goodwill a year ago. I was out with Cinema Sickness. We were hunting, and it was a Jersey Goodwill. I found one of those in the box. I bought it for like a buck. Which one did you Cookie get? Monster. Cookie Monster. That's Cookie Monster. Yeah. 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 I'll I'll insert a picture here. Boop. <laughs> there you go. That's so, yeah. 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 You should put in a picture of the dodo one too. Yeah. Because oh, we're right. talking about this here is the go. dodo one. Ready? Boop. <laughs> so well, anyway, because we're getting close to Halloween, we talk about the Halloween costumes. Last week we 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 ate the Monster Mash cereal, mm -hmm. and we kind of talked about it. Honestly, it was a little let down, I think, but. You know, because I, I don't know. I don't know what I was expecting, but it is exciting. Right. It is exciting that they did that because it's the 50th anniversary of the Monster Series. So I got a lunchbox for my birthday that I was kind of saving because I didn't. And you don't know what it is because you didn't see it. I do not know. I think this one's pretty cool and it kind of fits with the Halloween theme. So already close your eyes and I'm going to make it All appear right. like a, like a monster. And, and you realize our audience already knows what it is because I'm going to put the picture in the thumbnail. So uh... are you? Why don't you put like a question mark? I, I could. Can you put, do that? Can you do I don't that? know. Will they, that, will they click on it if there's a question mark? Mystery box. Like Maybe. mystery box. You ready? I'm ready. Okay. Tell me when. All right. There we go. All right. I can open? You can open. Yeah, yeah. What the heck? Ghost land. Now this one, I don't want to show the back just yet. Because you're all, seeing the All back. I see is the back. You're seeing the back. But the people who are watching in the at home on the in their comfort of their own home are seeing the front of it. This one is very exciting. Look at the... First of all, the, the front of it's cool because it reminds me of things like the Weebles Haunted House, which, ready? Because that was, you know, you know, boop. If you don't know the Weebles Haunted House, there's a picture of it. It reminds me of stuff like that, which I love the Weebles Haunted House. And I actually acquired a Weebles Haunted House um, last year because a person had one when they were a kid. They were getting rid of it. They said, do you want it? And I said, yes, I will take it. And it has like a little Weeble ghost and a Weeble which so this I love like haunted house stuff. I love that there was like there was like a game haunted house. I had I used to growing up, my dad bought a haunted house pinball machine. It was one of the coolest. We're gonna be a lot of boops. Ready? You gotta put a picture of that in there. The haunted house pinball machine. Boop. I hope I found the right one. There's only one. Okay. And it played like spooky music, and there was a haunted house board game. 
I love that kind of stuff. So this lunchbox, I was like, oh my gosh, I never saw this before. I saw somebody post a picture. I was like, oh, I really want that lunchbox. And don't you see your touch? Oh, you get excited. Yeah. You get excited. I, I, wanna, so I wanna see what this is. On they the don't back. know, they this don't know one. what I'm looking at. I know, but guess what? And this one, you know how you were talking? You don't have no any Ohio Arts ones? Ohio Art! <laughs> This is an Ohio, Ohio Art one, maybe. Oh, so you've been, you've been, you've been sitting on this I've been then. sitting on it. This was Ohio Art. Okay. This is like uh, 70, 73, I think, was the year that this came out. So that makes this our second ever Ohio Arts lunchbox. Oof, that's exciting. If you're not tuning in for, for anything else, it's tune in for the fact that this is the second ever Oh, okay. I, and you know, by the way, a 70, couple of our couple of our viewers have gotten in touch with me, including Mr. Jeffrey Hool. Uh, Ohio Arts, I mentioned, I said, Ohio Arts, they made things like, I think, the Snoopy Snow Cone Machine. No, no, Etch a Sketch. It was Etch a Sketch. Okay. So, uh, that's... All right, so, now this is the front. It's like a, it's like a spooky house. It's got ghosts. You know, you got these cute little ghosts, and it's very exciting. You got, like, you got graveyard stuff on the side, you know. You got some, yeah, you got graveyards. You got more, uh, the bottom's not terribly exciting. Ohio Arts, yeah, they, they're then the more spooky... Side of the house graveyards, a little moon, you know, your typical top. It's just, just more of the same. It's basically the top is the same as the bottom. Not very exciting. But here's the exciting part. And I'm going to turn it around and I'll show you. It, on the back is a game. It's like a board game that you could play. And it has a spinner built in to the lunchbox. This is not the only one they've done this with. Because I've seen other ones where they have a spinner game built into the lunchbox. Okay. Because I think there was a snow white one or something there's there's there is another one at least one more that has a is spinner it another game. ohio arts box it might be it might have been a gimmick that ohio arts did but this is look at that you spin it and then you like move you move one you lose one you move three you move two and the object is to get it's not a very complicated game but this one was the one that says on there it has instructions play alone or with a friend just spin the spinner and begin count the least numbers of turns you can escape the haunted house Use pennies as tokens. It says use pennies as tokens. But when I was doing research on this one, too, they apparently made another one that actually came with little magnetic game pieces and didn't didn't tell you to use pennies. Huh. So this one is the penny one. I don't know which is more rare. Because the inside's not terribly exciting. It's all blank on the inside. I have no thermos. Uh, but it does, you can see where the you can see how the spinner game is attached on the inside of the box. So like that's that's where the spinner thing is, but and the and the tip of the spinner on this one is broken, and it looks like I don't know if somebody colored it in or what the magic marker if that's just the way it was, but it doesn't look like somebody colored that in again or something. Could be wrong. Bit. I don't know, but it, it, it's on there. So, but I thought this was terribly yeah. exciting because it is. A, well, actually, you know what they saw on the front of the box? It says lunchbox with spinner game. So yeah, it really wasn't any big surprise. Lunchbox with spinner game. That's I was like still, all excited. Still exciting. Mm. It's still exciting. Like, it's still exciting. how often do you get a spinner on your lunchbox? Yeah, this Not... is the first one. Now I know I we're gonna have to like I'm gonna have to look into it. I, I know there was other ones that had spinner games, but I thought this one was especially cool and fits the season because it is a ghost land. It is it's just like a made up property too. It's not right. like something that well Ohio Arts apparently didn't want to license the big properties because they were the ones that gave us. Little Red Riding Hood. Yeah. And that's obviously something in the public domain. Yeah. All right, let's see. Play. Did you read this? Play alone or with a friend. Yep. Just spin the spinner. Count the least number of turns you can escape the haunted house. It says get out fast. Fast. It's like your stutter, I guess. I got to spin this on camera. Ooh, there it goes. Wow, that's exciting. Yeah. Isn't that exciting? Yes. This is a good one. My gosh, who gave you this? Tracy? Yep. Where did she find this? Macari. You've gotten them. I've gotten some stuff off Macari. I got yes. those. Um, we did Muppet Babies. So we did Muppet Babies and the Muppet Show. A couple Didn't you also get the Osmonds? I got the Osmonds off eBay, I think. Oh, okay. Maybe it was I Macari. It, was, I it, was I can, Macari. it might have been Macari. Yeah. I definitely got the Muppet ones off Macari. Yeah. Yeah, it's in really good shape, too. I got to say, the fact that the spinner is still on there in some form. Um... This is amazing. Did she stumble upon this by chance, or did no, she know I, it existed? No, I, I, uh, I found it that somebody posted that they had it, a picture of it, and I got very excited. They, they collect like spooky stuff, so they, they posted a picture. I was like, oh, and then I looked it up, and I found one on Macari, and it really wasn't that much money. It was pretty Ooh. cheap. Let me let me take a look real quick. I want to see uh, if 
Uh, yes, Brian Ohio made this. Oh, Brian, our Brian, Brian Ohio. Brian Ohio. Yeah. We always look for a name in the lunchbox again. Brian, if this, o Brian, if this is your lunchbox, yes. you're not getting it back. Yeah, I want to hear from if there's a Brian Ohio watching, please comment. Yeah. But I thought this was was, was exciting. Yeah. But, yeah. No, this yeah. is very exciting. Yeah. It's one of the most exciting ones we've had, I think. Mm. I mean, I personally, I get more excited by the weirder ones because, yeah. like, look, the franchises, look, I love Gremlins, E.T., Indiana Jones. Sure. I love all that. Yeah. But something weird, that yeah. gets me excited. Like? The exciting world of the exciting metrics. World of metrics. You didn't think you were going to see it this episode, but guess what? You're not escaping the exciting world of metrics. They don't it's want to make it's this is our mascot now. Yeah. This is our... This is this is what represents the lunchbox now. Is the exciting world. Of I, I don't usually do cosplay, but I'm working on my exciting oh my world gosh. of metrics costume for Dragon Con. Dress up like the guy throwing the shot put. No, I'm just gonna be the box. The whole box. I'm gonna be the whole box. Yeah. Look at that. I mean, you could be that guy. He's got no neck. The weight, weight, yeah. the weightlifter guy. No neck. So, uh, yeah, because there's there's like a few spooky ones, but you know you get your typical. We did the Adams Family last right, year. Right, we did Adams uh, Family. You know, there's the, uh, we have we've shown Universal Monsters. We saw it, that one hunting video. We mm -hmm. saw one of those. We, uh, we didn't do that one yet. That we, we didn't... yeah, Universal Monsters was in the airport. My airport video too. Yeah. The monsters is like one that would fit. Uh, there, so there isn't a, a whole lot of them. And I, this is one that I was just like, you, like you said, it's it's a unique, uh, made up, solely for a lunchbox kind of thing. So. And, yeah, and then it's kind of weird too. You'd be carrying it around like you're walking in like a couple days before Christmas, and you're like, "Here's my ghost lunchbox," you know. I gotta wonder, it, like, were kids taking this to school, and then like at lunch they'd eat their sandwich and then go, "Now we're gonna play a game and get their pennies out." And yeah, they're dirty pennies. <laughs> That's exciting. That oh, exciting. I like. I do like the pumpkin patch. We have a pumpkin patch on one side. Yep. And then like gravestones. That Linus was sitting in that pumpkin patch somewhere. Yep. yep. There's a under the handle. We got a black cat. There's a black cat under the handle. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There's the graveyard, and the ghost is in the graveyard. He's probably like, I'm not dead yet. It's, it's pretty cool art, though. I gotta say. But I mean, like, I feel like in the '70s yeah. and, and early '80s, there was like a big thing for like this weird like, because it kind of like the, well, you have the monster serials came out then. Well, I mean, like, what was it? You think it was the whole surgence of the horror? Horror was very popular in the the 60s and 70s like the, there was uh obviously when i talk the 60s that's before our time but just knowing what i know from reading uh, and and you know that was the era of the monster kids and the tv hosts uh, every city had their tv host on saturday and the um aurora monster model kits were really big oh, yeah, yeah, and yeah. Uh, famous game, Monsters magazine. There was a there was another game called I Want to Bite Your Finger. Do you know this one? It sounds for oh, you, it was a '80s board game. You put your finger in the vampire's mouth, and then it had two like a little two, like a little piece that had like almost like two little red magic markers, and then you would push the clock, and you didn't want to get bit by the vampire. So, if, but if you pulled your finger out, and there was two little dots on there. That means you got bit by the vampire. Yeah. You had to press down the clock. Well, you can just put a picture of the... I, I'll tell you... Oh, 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 you go ahead. Boop. It's like a Dracula one. <laughs> I'll give you something else because we're talking about, you know, monsters being very popular in the 70s and 80s. Do you remember the Orange Monster books by Crestwood House? Mm. You're going to know them when you see them. They were very popular. All the kids wanted to take them out of the library. Let's get one of these Crestwood House Orange Monster books. Boop. They're out of print. They go for big money on eBay. I've, 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 when you, now, when I, when if I see this, I'm You're going to know it as soon as you see it. it. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Because I tried to collect them. I was like, let me see if I can get some of these on eBay. Then I saw how much they want for them. I'm like, oh, no. no, no. <laughs> yeah. But there you go. That's that's a this can't ghost land. I like this one. Yeah. This is a good one. This was a surprise. You didn't know. I didn't know I had. I had no idea. Yeah. I had no idea. And I thought I was tricking everybody by... Saying that you're gonna find out there's a game on the back when it says it right on the front of the box. So yeah, but you know, my bad. our viewers are illiterate. <laughs> <laughs> all twenty-seven of them. All twenty-seven. That's right. Mm -hmm. Where did you all go? Yep. Yeah. You should put like topless lunchbox in the title, like topless lunchbox. 
lunch boxes going wild, stuff like that, and then you'll get more yeah. viewers. Yeah. 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 You know, you know, there's not too many Christmas ones though. I don't I can't no. think of any Christmas lunch Well, no, because all the lunch boxes came out in the fall. Who who would be like Yeah. I want Santa Claus in the movie right. in September or Rudolph. Right. But who so. wants a, who wants a mail a US mail one? You know, like the yeah. video. Oh yeah, yeah. We had U.S. mail was in the yeah. the, the airport video. Yeah. Know so. your zip code. That's on there. It's on the side of that. But I looked up that box. I was checking that box out. It's a wacky lunch, but it's like the exciting world of metrics. It kind of fits into that. Like who who wants mail? Yeah. You know. So. All right. Well, uh, I guess we'll be back. We'll be back. Keep eating those. Well, we usually say keep eating those ding dongs, but I think we should say keep eating those Hostess spooky cakes or candy corn. <laughs> oh, I love candy corn. Mm. Uh, do, do you remember? You know who Hostess spooky cakes? Every year they put out Hostess. I know spooky you got cakes. very excited by them, and they would just kind of like they would do like a different. Wasn't that the one where they would do like different versions for the different holidays? Or was that a different brand? No, it was a different brand. Was that that was Entimans. Entimans. That was Entimans. Entimans. No, uh, spooky cakes were like. They always said like, um, like scary f green filling, and you're like, well, how scary is the filling really? Were you, were you actually like eating your cake, and you're like, ah, the filling's green? Like, I mean, did you really get scared it was of that? Pus, it might be pretty. Scary. Maybe, <laughs> maybe this is full of pus. No, well, there you go. Yeah, Ghostland. Yep, Ghostland. Wasn't that a movie? I don't think so. I think that's the name of a movie. We'll have to, we'll have to right. Google that. All right. If it's the name of a movie, I'm going to boop it. And you can put the movie poster in. And if it's not, not I'm going to put the movie there poster. There was Ghost World. I know that. Here's the thing. We're going to, I'm going to, we're going to look this up. We're going to go, we're going to boop it. If Ghostland is a movie, you will see the post, movie poster for Ghostland. Yeah. If it is not a movie, yeah. we will show the poster for uh, the 1979 Patrick Swayze movie, Skate Town USA. Uh, okay. So okay. either one, you're getting either one. <laughs> yeah. Ready? Boop. Yeah. Hey, what do you know? Hey, there there's there's Who, the answer. I, you know, I wasn't sure, but yeah, now, now we have our Now answer. we know. Now we know, and I'm glad so. you know too. So uh, join us next time on the Lunchbox Watch for we'll, more spooky excitement. We'll be back and yeah. we'll eat those ding dongs, play yeah. that cornhole. Yeah. Keep wearing those pajamas with the plastic feet. Keep wearing those pajamas. Tell everyone you need. Keep wearing those pajamas with the back door flap. Keep wearing those pajamas. Don't open it to trap. Some people call them bitches, some people call them jammies They can come embroidered with big money and no whammies They can have a hundred tiny commander and damas But no matter how they look, just keep on wearing those pajamas Keep on wearing those pajamas Keep wearing those pajamas And now we're having fun Keep wearing those pajamas And now the song is done